Hello, this is a quick video to talk about how we measure the current draw of a Fremo N-Modules accessory bus. Uh, for hardware, you're going to need a meter of some kind, uh, such as this one from DCC Specialties, which is the railroad amp meter. Uh, these have been around for a while. There are several different variations, anywhere from a bare board to ones in these nice cases with banana plugs on them. Uh, Many people build those into their boosters, so their booster boxes will have one attached to it, and you can use that just as, as well as a free one. Uh, a newer one on the market is the NCE DCC meter. Uh, one of the differences between these two meters is that the NCE meter reads current in tenths of an amp, so it won't read a hundredths of an amp, but the, um, the DCC specialties one will. Uh, there's a third meter that I don't have an example of, which is the alpha meter from DCC Concepts, and uh, it can be used as well. Uh, and some boosters will actually provide the uh, current draw through uh, an interface, usually through software such as JMRI. Um, so you can use those as well if you if you have access to a booster that does that. <coughs> so to start measuring, we connect our meter to the DCC system. And I've got that connected on the left side of the railroad amp meter. And on the other side, we're going to plug in our module. And we can see that this module is reading 0.27 amps when uh, it's actually speaking. This is my defect detector module. So that's the maximum current draw for this particular module. And when you're measuring your own modules, you want to make sure that you are measuring it with as many accessories on as possible. So turn on all the lights, throw all the switches, and see how much current draw you have. 